Hi, it's Mr. Gale here. I'm just going to show you how to play the factors and multiples game. Uh, if you scroll down, there's a link there. You can try the tablet version if you like. Um, all you got to do is make the longest chain of numbers you like. You can click wherever you want to start. And then after you've clicked that, then there's some rules about what you can and can't click next. So you can click the next number if it's either a multiple of the last one. So multiples of 25 is the 25 times table. So 25, 50, 75, 100, and so on. Um, or if it's a factor of 25, so a factor of the number you're on. So factors of 25 are which times tables would this be in? So factors fit into this number without any remainders. So the factors of 25 are, well, 1, 5, and 25. Not my only choices. I'm going to go for 50 as my next one. I'm going to pick one of the multiples. Okay, so 50 is my next option. Um, what do I want? So I could have a multiple of 50, that'd be 100, or I could have one of the factors of 50. So things that go into 50 are 1, 2, 5, uh, 10, 25, that's already gone. Uh, let's go for 10. And then I can pick a multiple of 10, I'm going to go 70, why not? And then well, multiples of 70, they're going to be too big, 70, 140, 210, they're over 100. There's got to be a number that goes into 75. Let's go 35. Multiples of 35 doesn't look too optimistic. I will do a factor of 35, something that fits into 35. Well, 35 is th uh, it's five sevens, so let's have it's a five. Um, multiple of five, well, anything that ends in a five or a zero, basically. A whole number, 65. Um, 65, right, okay, uh, factors of 65. So one goes in, five goes in, 65 does. There must be something else, something that pairs with five. Uh, let's try, I'm not sure, let's try, uh, 17, is it 17? Okay, no, so it doesn't like that. And the reason it's done that is because 17 isn't a factor of 65. So I'm holding on back. Uh, 65, uh, it's 13 fives, that's what it is. Yeah, nice, right, 13, facts of 13. 13 is prime. So any one and 13 will go into it. I could take the one, but multiples of 13. So that's 13, 26. Okay, I'll take 26, because then I can go multiple of 26. If I double that, I can get 52. I haven't got that yet. Cool, this is quite a long chain. One, two, three, four. Okay, that tells me there, 10 already, longest chain. Uh, 52. Uh, so I can't have 13 or 26. I think four goes into 52. Yep, let's have a big multiple. Let's go for 80, that's 20 of fours. What goes into 80? Well, 40 goes into that, 20 goes into that. Uh, oh, we could have 100, 100 is a multiple of 20. And what goes into 100? Okay, well, I've used up 50. One and two do. Let's take two, I suppose. Multiple of two, uh, plenty of choices there. Um, Let's go 32. 32, let's take 16, half of 16, 8 goes into 16. Uh, multiple of 8, I don't know, 80, oh, it's gone. 88, yep. We'll go into 88, how about 22? All right, 22 doubled is 44, 11 goes into that. 77 is a multiple of 11, then I can have 7. I'm quite surprised at how well I'm doing. I wasn't expecting this chain to be anywhere near as long. Right, what's in the seven times table? Um, incidentally, I've deliberately saved the one because one's like your get out card. If, if you can't find anything else, then one will go into everything. So use that last or near the end at least. Seven, what will go into seven? Sorry, I mean, what is a multiple of seven? So seven, 14. Okay, you can set that. Multiples of 14, so 28, yeah. Multiples of 28, 56, yeah. What goes into 56? So one, two, six doesn't, nine doesn't. Okay, I think I might have to use the one. One then, I don't know, 91's a multiple of that. I think I'm gonna struggle now. What goes into 91? Does 17 go in? No. I don't think 19 does. I think that might be it. That's pretty good. That's a chain of 30. Um, 
well done me <laughs> right so your challenge is can you do better than 30 um i'm also interested in like is there a way of actually getting a chain of like 10 like where you you get to 10 you have to stop can you do that um is it possible to do a chain of 100 is it possible to get them all what else uh I think those are my main questions really. So can you beat 30? Probably not because I'm great. Can you do uh, something like exactly 10 or is it possible to do exactly two? Is it possible to come up with a chain that's too long and then it stops and there's nothing else you can do? Is that even possible? Um, and yeah, is 100 possible? I mean, who knows? But so can you beat 30? Can you get a chain of exactly 10? And can you get a chain of two? There we go.